Hey folks, welcome to Talking Reptiles and another one of our Species Spotlight. Today I am handling a Sinaloan milk snake, a snake commonly seen in the pet trade here in the U.S., but they are native to Mexico. Yeah, just south of the Sonoran Desert, south of the Arizona region, Sinaloa, Mexico, is a deserty, dry environment home to these beautiful snakes. And one of the things we'll notice about them is how colorful they are. Yeah, Sinaloan milk snakes are often referred to as coral snake mimics. Here in the U.S., we have a variety of milk snakes that have the same type of coloration, and including the milk snakes, king snakes, there's also the venomous coral snake. But I want to take a second to talk about that. Um, mimicry is a term that's used by evolutionary biologists, but in reality, you cannot strive to achieve evolution uh, it happens by natural selection based on the traits you are born with. How does that work in this case? Well, animals that were brightly colored appear dangerous because of either a poison in their skin or in the case of snakes, some of them might have a venomous bite. In reality, these animals were naturally selected for because they didn't look like suitable prey. But because they mimic based on color, the venomous coral snake that is why biologists use that term. Sinaloan milk snakes, of course, are little constrictors. They're non-venomous, which is why they make good pets out in the wild. They'll eat other types of snakes, small rodents, small lizards, and use that constriction to uh, kind of hug, choke, constrict their prey before they go ahead and swallow it. But since we also mentioned that mimicry, many of you may also be familiar with a very famous rhyme that's been used in the U.S. about how to recognize the difference between a venomous coral snake and one of these tri-colored or more colorful kings and milk snakes. If you take a really close look at this snake, you'll see that the red touches the black. So somebody came up with this little rhyming memory device of red touching black, he's okay, Jack. If he bit me, I'd be perfectly okay and just keep talking to you guys. But if you notice red touching yellow, that's a dangerous fellow, one you don't want to pick up because a bite would be venomous. A neurotoxic venom produced by a coral snake is very similar to that of those by cobras, which are in the same family. One more other word to, to add to that. Uh, that rhyme came out when I was younger, even before my lifetime, when we were only dealing with snakes that might be here in the U.S. If you travel outside the U.S., and we see a lot more exotics nowadays, you might notice that the coral snakes of Central and South America don't play by the same rules, and that rhyme will not always work.